health, wealth, success, all that stuff that's temporal and material and perishing. Now if all that sounds familiar to you and you've never read The Secret or The Shack, then you've been watching TBN. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have, because that's where you have become familiar with this. Yes. You have been exposed, sadly, to this kind of muck in a vast religious Ponzi scheme that makes the people at the top of the Ponzi pile filthy rich. It uh, comes in forms like this, the word faith movement, the prosperity gospel, the name it and claim it movement, and names like Hinn and Hickey and Price and Meyer and Copeland and Hagee and Tilton and Kuntz and Roberts and Hagen and Crouch and many more lesser lights, if you can be a lesser light. They all claim that every so-called Christian has the personal power to recreate life's reality into exactly what he wants. The only thing they add is they throw the name of Jesus in. And uh, Jesus is just waiting to be activated by by you knowing what you want, believing that you're going to get it, visualizing it and speaking it. It's a very successful Ponzi scheme. These people are really, really good at what they do. And they take most advantage of the desperate and the lonely and the isolated and the ignorant. And I always think about the Lord Jesus at the uh, temple in the last week of His life when He sat there it says, and he watched a widow come by and put two coins in a temple offering receptacle, trumpet shape. There were 13 of them in the courtyard. And the woman came up and put her two coins in the temple, and it was all that she had. Remember that? And we think that's an illustration of sacrificial giving. That is not an illustration of sacrificial giving. It is not a virtue to give everything you have and go home and die. That is not what God asked from you, but that is what the system asked from her. And the next words out of the mouth of Jesus were these, not one stone in this place will remain on top of another one. This religion that does this is coming down. 